Look at that one. You got the one I wanted. Mm. Little stinker. That one right there? Yeah. And satisfy the early morning appetites of Wayne and Donna Hines. Mm. Oh, I love that one. Have to not do a close up because I'll have blackberry seeds in between my teeth. The Hines moved to the town of McLeod five years ago to run a church. They didn't know they would become chamber members. And shortly thereafter, they made us the president. <laughs> Rule number one, never become the president. They didn't know much about blackberries either and how they stain the very fabric of McLeod history. You can trace the Blackberry Festival back to the beginning of the town of McLeod in 1895. Settlers found them wild and full of thorns on the cross timbers. Commercial farms sprang up in the next generation. By the late 40s, the town had declared itself the world's blackberry capital. They even got President Harry Truman to try a few. Uh, so that's the, the big uh, shindig that made the uh, national news. This year's blackberry season started out a little slow. The berries were soft from all the rain, but they came on late. Can't get much better than this. The ones that are left are big and sweet. They'll last another couple of weeks for picking. I don't think that one is. The Hines themselves took to liking blackberries so much they found their own patch of wild ones on church land this summer. The blackberry harvest doesn't roll out of here by the truckload any longer, but as in years past, there remains blackberry royalty to crown and a festival steeped in history to consume once again. In McLeod, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what?